Russia last week opened a new front in the Ukraine war when small groups of highly mobile units pushed swiftly over the border into the Kharkiv region, forcing Ukraine to rush in troops from other areas. Ukraine has pulled back its troops from several villages in the border region of Kharkiv following continued pressure from Russian forces. In this case, Kiev sent reinforcements to the wider Kharkiv region incursion, seen as one of Russia's most significant ground attacks since it launched its full-scale invasion of the country in February 2022. There are Russian nationals among them. Ukraine has sent reinforcements, including the Legion and two other units made up of Russian nationals, to shore up its defense against a Russian ground incursion into the northern reaches of Kharkiv region that began nearly a week ago, according to Reuters. The Freedom of Russia Legion's deputy commander Maximilian Andronikov, who is also known by his callsign Caesar, said Russia's fighters have become more innovative. They've learned the lessons of the war, they're using rather intelligent tactics, he said. The situation is difficult, the intensity is very high, there is fighting almost every 10 minutes, said the mortarman, who identified himself only by his call sign, Winnie. The soldier is part of the Freedom of Russia Legion, a group of Russians opposed to President Vladimir Putin who are fighting for Ukraine. Moscow has claimed its forces have now taken control of two more settlements in the region, Lukyansky and Hlybok, and the village of Robotyne, in the southern Zaporizhia region. But Ukraine says its military still controls most of Robotyne, news website Ukrainska Pravda reports, citing a spokesman for an army brigade fighting there. Russian President Vladimir Putin visited China on Thursday where he and his counterpart Xi Jinping reaffirmed a no-limits partnership. Putin also thanked Chinese leader Xi Jinping for his efforts to resolve the war in Ukraine. Furthermore, Russia and China also announced they will deepen their already close military ties. Putin is visiting China on Thursday, May 16 and Friday, May 17 in his first foreign trip since his inauguration for a fifth term in the Kremlin. Speaking at a joint press conference on Thursday, she said, China is willing to jointly achieve the development and rejuvenation of our respective countries, and work together to uphold fairness and justice in the world. In a press conference shortly after their meeting, Putin praised the warm and comradely talks with Xi. In return, she said the friendship between China and one of its strongest allies Russia was everlasting and had become a model for a new type of international relations. In an interview with Xinhua, Putin appeared to give his backing to a 12-point Ukraine peace plan that China released to a lukewarm reception. The two leaders then sat down for a celebratory concert to mark the 75th anniversary of formal China-Russia relations. Putin's two-day state visit came as both countries face rising tension with the West. The visit also comes amid Russia's intensive offensive in northeast Ukrainian Kharkiv region, the most significant border incursion since the full-scale invasion began in February 2022.